The reason why I chose VCAL was because I knew that I'm capable of doing BCE, but dealing with all the stress and the exams and SACs, I just wouldn't be able to do that. And I wanted to go to uni at some point, but I knew I didn't want to go straight away. I'm studying legal studies, psychology, health and human development, English and math methods. Um, I'm doing English, psychology, health and human development, media art and studio art. So the main subjects that we do is work related skills, personal development skills, English and maths. The partnership essentially means that students have a better chance of getting to study the subjects that they want to study. There are more teachers, there are more resources and there are more facilities and ultimately it means that you've got a, a cohort of students that are actually interested in what they want to do. I think it's a really good thing in VCAL that we can do external vets and vets at school because you really get to individualise your learning. You can do anything you want to do that can, you know, um, determine your career, which is a super good thing and it gives you, you know, inside to all different career choices. Um, VC is immensely, there's a lot of pressure on, as students to do um, well, but I feel like the support systems that are in place at both schools um, really help students to get the best out of the program. With my hospitality vet, it's a great subject. I recommend everyone doing it because we have a teacher. Her name's Judy. She's the best teacher you could ever have. And it really, you know, with hospitality, you can get a job anywhere because it's such a massive field. So having that um, certificate on your resume will get you a job, you know. Well, the career pathways I want to pursue, I'm kind of still thinking either somewhere in like a midwifery kind of area. I'd love to be a midwife. I reckon that'd be such a great job. Or something in the criminal justice system, like a a uh, prison psychologist or a case manager or just something in the justice system. I reckon it would be really cool. I hope to do a gap year next year. Um, I'm going to work and then maybe travel around the world, see some stuff and then hopefully um, go to RMIT and study fine arts and become an artist, I guess. I'm looking to hopefully do a Bachelor of Arts next year, so um, maybe majoring in criminology or psychology and then going into a JD um, big dream is to do criminal law or human rights at the end. I recommend anyone doing VCAL if they aren't a super academic person, even if they are, if they just, they're not interested in going to uni straight away or if they want to be a tradie, especially trades. If you want to get into the trade industry, VCAL is a great pathway for you. So a lot of people think that if you do VCAL, you can't go to uni, which is not true because I would love to go to uni at some point. But even though you don't get an ATAR, you can still go to TAFE and then, you know, transfer from TAFE into uni. And anyone who wants to, is thinking of doing VCAL, I recommend it because, you know, it's not easier than VC, it's just a different learning style. Don't stress about it too much. Um, yeah, get, try to pick up some really good, like, school skills and study skills in year 11 because it means that when you do go into year 12, you're not so much worried about developing those and you already have them for year 12 and it'll take a huge load of pressure off you. Um, but yeah, take it easy and make sure that you are at least interested in what you want to do. Yeah. Find what you love.